If you ever want to see an HR recruiting team completely freak out, post a bad Glassdoor review. Right? All right, so hi guys, my name is Katrina Kibben. I'm the founder and CEO of Three Ears Media, and today I want to teach you how to respond to a negative review on Glassdoor. See, Glassdoor gets a lot of weight, especially from executives, because it's all about reviews, right? If it were about their product, if a cheeseburger came out undercooked or something went wrong, often people react to that and it causes rippling effects. And so I think executives understand employee reviews the same way that they understand a review on a restaurant. They think it can bomb them. And so they're going to react every single time. But how you react matters most and how you respond will impact that candidate and impact every person who sees this review from here on out. So the first thing you need to do when you see a bad review is address it with your executive team. If you bring it to them, things are going to go a lot more smoothly than if they bring it to you and they're already panicked. When you share it with them, you should have an answer. Please don't just send this as bad review posted dot 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 and post the nasty review in the comment and hope that they know how to react or respond. Your job is to start doing the work that will make that review something that you can understand and something that you can work with so that you can build on that. The whole point of reviews is not to, you know, talk shit on your executive team or your company. The point of reviews is to build up a reputation so that people can understand what it's like to work at your company and make a better decision.